advances come Feeling thirsty knowledge. and hungry. But hmm. with knowledge. Hey, hold up. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Uh, no, it's not work I need. I'd like food and drink. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Of course. I will indulge in some auto wine and some black. No, that's too exp That's way too expensive. Mm -mm. No, Sophia's not worth that much. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Oh, amber, amber brand wine. Ooh, I will splurge today. Thank you. Need anything else? Just let me know. Hey. What is it? I have something for you. I could get used to this. Could you now? Um, it's a little bit too early for the wine. We still have some work to do today. So, uh, apologies. We'll skip on that right now. <laughs> well. For us, we will have mm, steak, some soup, and how about a cat? Yes. And have some water too. Mmm. Invisible eating. Yes. Well, anyway, welcome back to Skyrim, where. We have just helped Sadie out, or rather, decide decided mm -hmm. to help her out instead of Kimatsu, because honestly, I don't trust the guy. Ne I never did. The a guy who tries to pay you off automatically, to me. Yes. Is, can I use this, please? To me, untrustworthy. Yeah. And she paid me rather well anyway, so win-win. I would rather help the lady out lady who just happens mm -hmm. to be the barmaid here. Tavern wench? Yeah. Whatever it huh. is. Lots of lots of salmon. Mm mm. Love my salmon. Tea Magister Vent Nernert. Mmm. Try making that. Uh, made it and uh, we'll probably drink it. Hmm. Sometime. This better be good. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So now I feel like uh, we should try to look for a little bit more work here in White Run before we move on to to uh, to the Greybeards. And uh possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? Depends on who's asking. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook. So you are a priestess of Kinnerth, I assume. Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. Hmm. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make White Run a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and oh. fair weather on the harvest days. <laughs> so has the Stormcloak Uprising affected your duties at all? Somewhat, yes. At first it seemed a distant thing, heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. Hmm. Wise words, I suppose. Oh, thank you. Grace of Kinnereth be with you. Guess you didn't have anything for me after all. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this music's beautiful. We kill the dragon once, we can do it again. With your help, of course. Excuse me while I remain silent just to listen to the music. I I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now, or I'm gonna bloody your nose. No, please! I really don't have any money, Braith. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. 
ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody uh -huh. your nose and your lip. Oh. I'm assuming that's the boy you were talking about, Sophia. Where are you? Hmm. Uh. You tried mercenary uh. work? It might suit you. It might. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. You offer? I hold my daughter in my arms. I know I made the right choice. Um. Weird question to ask, but. What were you two arguing? And I don't know who the other one he was arguing with, quite honest with you, because I think I missed that scene. <laughs> my sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy hmm. room. Well, seeing as I am currently looking for work uh, to help the people of Whiterun, sure. Why not? Do you need help finding that sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. Yeah. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. Hmm. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Well, since if you find you that sword, please bring it to me. Sure thing. Well, since you asked so politely, I suppose I will. It's fine scale armor you've got on there. Shiny. Thank you. I, um, I acquired it from someplace. Ulfred, patron of the mm -hmm. great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. All right, Sophia. We are now going to help find Amran's family sword inside White River Watch, which is... Not too far away at all. Well, we're in luck. Let's go. All right, 5:12 p.m. Uh, hopefully, we'll make it back before the sun goes down, so we can actually give you that drink. We'll have our drinks together. It'll be a nice little drunk party or whatever. Kind of amazing how blue those mountains are, actually. Like, really blue. It looks cold up there. Another quiet day. Yes, let's hope for more, more of those. Everything's in order. <laughs> wow, real, things are going pretty smoothly today, aren't they? <laughs> White River Watch up this hill. All right, keep an eye out. You know there are bandits over there. of this. Oh, that was close. Helts. I'll need a lot of those. A lot, a lot of those. Alright, so this looks like the perfect ambush spot. And you see someone, Sophia? Oh, what? Oh, my. Uh... Possibly my other womanly assets. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, those, those guys came out of nowhere. Uh, are there more? Oh, yeah, there are. Uh, okay. Okay. Nice. I 
can hear you. You, know, you really shouldn't. There you oh, are. oh, I Crap. love a challenge. <laughs> I guess you have to do though. Ow. No. No. I think I just broke a nail. Uh huh. Note to Rod Rodo Rodo Brightonbow. Actually, yeah. In regards to those, um, in regards to that bow, that really valuable bow I found earlier, what was it? The Merkwood Bright Bow. I wonder. Hmm. Let me test this out. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Okay, it takes about 3 seconds to be fully drawn. This one, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Yeah, it's about the same. So, except this one does quite a bit more damage. <laughs> Easy as it seems right now for me. Trust me when I say if I get hit, I am pretty much maybe one or two hits away from getting killed. So, keep that in mind. It's, it's the same for me. I may one-shot them, but they definitely can one-shot me as well. Good thing Sophia is there, and she can take the hits because she has heavy armor. Okay, are there any more up here? No. Um, food. Food that I won't be taking. More salmon. I think I've had enough of salmon, actually. Um, okay. Alright, Sophia. We'll be heading in there, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there are a lot of people in there. So, a lot of bandits. Be careful. Let's be careful. Oh. Uh. What? Did he not? Did he not see us? Either case. Okay. All right. Hey, why is it, why is it glowing on here all, all of a sudden? Ooh, for the blind. Oh, oh, killing a blind old man. Well, he would have killed us if I didn't kill him. So, tough luck, buddy. Tough luck. Wolfer's book. Blank. I see. Maybe it's in Braille? No clue. Mm. Dark, dark, dark. Okay. Mm. Alright, Sophia Beat. I see people up ahead. Anything over here? Okay, no. Let's move up. As so quiet as possible. Yeah. We can't have that roomy eyed fool as our watchman, even if he is Hajmar's uncle. Time we dealt with both of them. A mutiny. Strike tonight at dusk. Be ready. I'm afraid I'll be striking first. Is someone there? Okay. Where are you? Okay. Good. Take you, oh. you start with that so I can stand. We'll pay for that. Taking the diamond. Um. Okay. As regards to books, um. CL's caretaker had quite the extensive library in his manor, and CL someday would love to build that collection. Now, uh, I won't be reading every book, especially something like this one. So. so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen pages. That's a lot of reading. Um, be taking the book for our collection because, well, I'd like to build that book collection someday, and hey. If I can find a book here, why not? Why not take it? 
it's something I haven't seen before. Amulet of Julianos. I shall take that. That'll be useful for something later. Lockpick. Good. Another one? Really? It's that common? Oh, man. Uh, I'll be leaving that with him, even though I could sell that quite the profit. Um, that would... That would just break it. That would, uh, uh, no. Not, not about that. Even though, if I were playing just for me, I definitely would take it and sell it. <laughs> hmm. Saxon. Uh, Explorer's Guide to Skyrim. Uh, no, no, no. Take it. The hope are better in bandits that read. Quite surprising. I always thought bandits couldn't read. Hmm. That also means we'll probably have to get a horse sometime soon because the books will end up weighing me down quite a bit. And so. Having a horse helps with that, and having a help, uh, having a house solves most of that problem. Uh, why do you have the torch out? Don't take it out. The olives, though, they'll either be dead or with significantly less gold before they know what's hit them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Quiet. You too. You think it'd work? Of course not. Dogs I can train, but a half-starved wolf, not a chance. Right. Lucky if it doesn't rip our throats out. So they have a wolf. Is someone there? Does that release the wolf? <laughs> oh, it does, doesn't it? Down you. Hi. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Um. Like this, this headsman axe, this headsman's axe would one shot me no matter if it was a, or if it was a power attack or not. Doesn't matter. One hit, I'm down. And as an archer, keeping people away from you is quite hard without a distraction. Something like the Atronach or Sophia. Archer, mage. Oh, and this bow? Oh, best believe. Best believe this bow would one-shot me. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, 97. Uh, you know what? I want to try this out. I want to try using this out. See if it makes it a little bit more fair. Because and then and then once I start gaining levels, I'll sell it off and make a lot of money. Lots and lots of money. Okay, so I'm guessing the chest with Amran's sword is somewhere up yeah, it's up here. Freeze, you have an arrow. Oh, really don't care, do you? Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ah, ow. That's your best, huh? This guy's like a bandit chief or something. What makes you think you're any different to the hundreds of gotcha. others like you I have killed? That one was quite the challenge. I guess he basically is a. Oh man, he's wearing the barbarian armor too. 
guess he kind of is a, uh, a, oh, iron hand gauntlets. I think I have two handed, I think I have two handed ready, but I'll take it so I can sell it. Um, yeah, he's pretty much, I think he pretty much is a bandit chief, if I'm not mistaken. And there's a sword in here. Indeed it is. Wielding, I'd like that. Take the rest of these. You can keep that. What runs down there? 709, let's get back. Did some good work today. Two jobs. Yes, your honor as a mercenary, or rather someone who does work in this type, in this sort of world, depends on how well, no, no, I'm sorry, that's not right, uh, whether you complete your objective or not, doesn't matter how it's done. For some people, it does matter. For, in my experience, for the, for the majority of people, it doesn't really matter as long as you get the job done. And my, my requirement for my employer is that they pay me. Because if they don't pay me, well, things don't tend to usually go well for people who don't pay up. Payment doesn't even have to be in money, to be quite honest with you. And you will see that when we return this sword. Oops. Spoiler. Cloudy night sky. You're not the torch. Because, you know, one of the few times when having you having that torch out is actually a good thing. Red mountain flower. Or tea. The Milky Way. Beautiful. Yeah, I, am, I, I admire the, uh, I admire nature and all that in this game, but in real life, when you actually have to go out and it, the the scenery is beautiful, yes, but dealing with, with all the other nature stuff. That's fine scale armor you've got there, shiny. Thank you. That's it. Dealing with all the other nature stuff is uh I hope you're finding the city in proper uh, You guys are you guys are ruining my train of thought. <laughs> this is why I can't I can never finish my sentences here. My goodness. Alright. Alright. Anyway, dealing with all the all the nature stuff, um bugs, mosquitoes, insects, uh I mean, you know, the occasional bug here and there, yeah, it's, I'm okay with that, but when, when things are coming to bite you, leave their mark on you, possibly even poison you, well, um, yeah, ooh, what's, what's wrong here, you're missing, huh? Oh god. Sweet Jesus. So I guess it's just that one uh brazier. One brazier. Brazier? Brazier? However you pronounce it. I think it's just the one. I hope. Yeah, everything else looks good so far. Oh, we'll need the torch in, in the town. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Actually feeling a little out of sorts today. I don't know. I almost didn't make a video today. But... Going out here... Got a, a, Launching the game and playing and being in the world is kind of, I don't know, makes me feel like, makes me huh? feel all better. So, oh, 
Look at that. That looks so... That looks so ominous. Oh, I gotta take a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry. It, come on. It's like Halloween. It's crazy. The moons in the vanilla game aren't that huge. Um, that's also come added by the uh, bigger, better sun mod. Because it, it has, it, they have an option where you can turn on bigger, better moons I can do as well. Sophia? Yes? About Did you want something? About that torch. Why must I hump all these stupid objects just to please you? Uh, torch. Torch, no. Torch bad. Indoors. Don't use torch indoors. I'm here if you ever need me. You still have torch out. Let's reload. <laughs> you still have torch out. Need Do you have something to say? Mm. Okay, but don't push your luck. You don't have torch anymore. Yes, let's go. Come on. Yes. What? Mm -hmm. Uh. Let's head on in then. I don't care anymore. Come on in. Thank you. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. <laughs> what could it mean? <laughs> he he right. Who among us could possibly hold that People honor? Have forgotten such humor. power. Oh, oh, uh, everyone wants to talk to me at once. I love a good sword fight as much uh, as the next I, I was about to answer your question. Oh, you talk and and you drink <laughs> Looks like Sophia's no, already getting started on the drink. I suppose I will as well. I can dig into this Ember brand wine. And seeing as I'm not drunk enough, the other two as well. And have some food. So we're salmon. Feeling a little drunk. I deserve this. Does it somehow involve blood or beheadings or the honor of my forebears? Oh, did you need something? Hello. If you're looking for the court wizard, I'm not him. Farangar is the one you want. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him somewhere in the general direction of boredom. Looks like there's th now, if you'll excuse me, you. there's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. <laughs> I well, I I just had wine myself. Well, if I wanted to speak to a cart wizard, I go with the Dragon's Reach. So you just want a wizard? You've still come to the wrong place. Walk outside, make a left, and tell Bjorlum you want to go to Winterhold. <laughs> I'll be making You're my funny, own trip lady. to the bottom of a bottle, where I plan on staying for the conceivable future. <laughs> you like wine? Some are good, some is good. Some are good, but it can definitely vary. I have to say that bottle of Ember Shard, Ember brand wine, exquisite. Really? Are you a wine expert by chance? Not exactly. In my youth, I once thought West Wales wine was the finest drink ever conceived. Imagine my embarrassment when I tasted my first vintage. This is why natives of the Isle look down upon those born on foreign shores. That's so. May I ask your name, fair lady? My name is Elduin. I've come to Whiterun for the Skyforge and for Farangar. You seem to have an obsession with wine. I don't see that as a negative. Neither my do I. friends often chide me for neglecting the rich history Just of Skyrim, observation. as if I was ignorant of it. They say, you know, Elder, there's more to Skyrim than just alto and spiced wine. Hmm. And I tell them, yes, yes, oh, so I know up. all about your windmills and Ooh. bards and 12 different words for cold. I only care about the wine. So why the Skyforge in Ferengar? Yorland allows me to use his magical forge to craft jewelry. I use the enchanting table at Dragon's Reach to raise their value. Then I turn them around and sell them to Ferengar. And he always buys them. I've never met a man so obsessed with necklaces. He says their enchantments are valuable. I think he likes to wear them. Maybe tomorrow I'll enchant him a dress to go along with it. 
<laughs> you know, that actually sounds like a very profitable business. And it's not every day I meet a mage who can work the forge. I don't really understand it myself. There should be more of me. It seems to True. me smithing and enchanting are two complementary skills. I can only assume it has to do with the stigma that comes with being a blacksmith. What stigma? They say to wield a hammer, you must be as dull as an anvil and as strong as an ox. As if stupidity were a prerequisite for the craft. Although I have heard warriors talk of such things. They say the person who thinks too much on the battlefield lacks focus. You know, my In mother battle, was a blacksmith. Having an empty mind certainly Three, makes you more decisive. But the forge is not something that requires you to act swiftly. But I do like the notion of intelligence being a weakness. Mm. And why is that? There are far too many mages who thumb their noses at common folk, as if worth was defined by the size of one's skull. Mm. Alchemists invented wine, farmers harvest the grapes, and smiths provide the tools. So, to me, each is worth more than all the mages in Winterhold. Alchemist invented wine? Well, don't quote me on that. It does seem likely though, doesn't it? It does. Some alchemist sort of. trying to invent a new health potion stumbles onto a recipe for liquid bliss. <laughs> so, what else can you tell me about wine besides drinking it, of course? When it comes to examining wine, I'm still just a novice. Although I have picked up the basics. Such as? Well, supposedly the color can tell you the wine's provenance, as well as the conditions it was developed in, serving as an indicator of how it will taste. Wine tasting is apparently all about discovery, yet I've discovered that I enjoy drinking wine more than I enjoy tasting it. So let the nobles sniff and swirl their goblets. I prefer to swallow my wine like a common rube. It's all true, I swear it. You can hear it when it's done. I'll just need a well said, but you can still drink the wine after you tasted it. Mm. <laughs> yes, but there's still that extra step between me and what I want. It seems almost redundant too, like washing your hands before <laughs> taking a bath. Good point. <laughs> uh, where do you gather souls for enchanting? As you know, as I plan to take up, take that up sometime. Caves are the best place to find packs of wolves, hmm. or bears, sometimes even trolls. Unfortunately, by myself, they provide a bit of a challenge. There used to be three other mages in my faction, a motley bunch to be sure. A Khajiit, a Redguard, a Nord, and myself. A group that consists solely of mages sounds terribly imbalanced. Four mages can be a formidable party. Especially when their talents complement each other. As a result, mm. I can afford to make mistakes. Mistakes like trading our last healing potion for a flask of wine. <laughs> Not a problem when the Red Guard was there to restore my wounds. Thankfully, the one talent I do have serves me well. It turns out most feral beasts in Skyrim are susceptible to fire. Good tip. So... What happened to your companions? Victim to the squalls of battle, I'm afraid. Ah. It matters not if you are a novice or an archmage. All it takes is a single misstep. True. The Khajiit was first. We all knew it'd be him. Then our numbers were three. Next came the Red Guard, then the Nord, and soon only I remained. Tell me about the Khajiit. The Khajiit, Razan, was what we call a scroll mage. Not an ounce of magical talent, but one who desperately wanted to cast spells. Uh, did you want to complete your sentence? Where he got the scrolls, he never okay. said. I thought he stole them, but he just as easily could have spent his share of the boon. It's not as if I ever saw him at the inn, or anywhere else for that matter. He was a paranoid cat as well, with a nose for things that didn't exist. Always convinced there was a spy lurking around the corner. He should have been wary of his dealer. He purchased a bad batch of flame cloaks that ended up burning him alive. I see. Well. And what happened to the Red Guard? 
Sarasa was brash and bold, and my kind of woman. Too brash for her own good, though. She wanted to trap grand souls instead of common ones. The most plentiful source of grand souls are mammoths. The most common place to find mammoths are giant camps. Excuse me, I, I'll need another drink. Um, I'm out of wine, so I'll drink my ale. It was a short-sighted idea. We ended up wasting all our profits on magical mm -hmm. potions, provided we even survived. Sarasa didn't. Hmm. Huh? Giants are quite protective of their big furry cheese factories. And how did the Nord die? Which I'm assuming he died last. Well, at that point, What's it was just the two of us. It? Razan wasn't particularly missed, well, but Sarasa was our healer. Hmm. Einar was a gallant Nord, if nothing Oops. else. We were exploring a cave to the northwest, a large, desolate space rumored to be inhabited by necromancers. We I entered the main nothing. chamber, which was hollow, save for the long fangs of rock that jutted from the ceiling. It was in the shadow of these fangs that the spiders lived, and from there they descended. Hmm. We stood back to back as they surrounded us, his hands shrouded in ice, mine cloaked in fire. I wanted to set them aflame, to oblivion with soul traps. A waste of magicka and time, but Einar saw fit to waste both. Greed slays more mortals than spiders. Indeed. It was his soul trap that set them upon us. At one point I couldn't distinguish the live ones from the corpses, so I burned them all. We had managed to clear the path to the exit, however, and were just about to escape when a spider the size of the moon dropped from the ceiling. Enjoying At your drink, point, Sophia. Einar and I were both out of magicka, and we each had one stamina potion left. Of course, mine was technically a wine bottle. It was an old vintage from the wineries of the Isle that I was saving until death. Mm. A word Einar of advice: asked me if uh, I to never buy a used I copy of have the lusty Argonian maid. Covers uh, are always in the pages stuck together. That old romantic. He what? was sacrificing himself so this? I might escape. Kind of I could never say no to that man. He drank the wine, wiped his lips, and showed me his teeth one last time. They were stained and red, but I've never seen a smile so bright. Hmm. Then he pulled out his dagger and drew the ugly beast's attention while I ran for the exit. I've never heard of such a cave. Where is it? Can't let these spiders run free. Like I said, this somewhere northeast of here? It had one of those typical Nord names Ragnar like Icewind Gulch or something like that. Mm. Well, it was, uh, it was nice having a conversation with you, Elduin. But I'm afraid right, there are more people to talk to in, this, in, in the Bannered Mare. Why, John I'm telling you, I heard swear words tales are true. The honor of my that Heimsker's crazy. Mm. Oh, oh, good tell us. They say the college has been snooping around Sarthal. So I said, so I said I would talk to more people, but... Come by Need anything else? Shot. Just let me know. Sure. But obviously... Smooth the rough when it's mm. <laughs> I thought as much. <clears throat> mm. Is there any more people to talk to up here? Are there any more? I mean, there are plenty of course to talk to, but... Got hey. something to say? Sure. I'm all ears! Oh, you sell stuff. What do you Take got for sale? Minor maze, arcane weapon, like oh, oh, spell books, fire, blast, instance, instant blast, target, divine light. Not much of a restoration, light curse. Nope, nope. Conjuration, arcane weapon. No, no, not much for those banned weapons. Ice lance hur hurls a sphere at the target. Oh, that's 37. Ah, storm strike. Oh, uh, DOT. I see. And not much. Not much for these. Actually, for a, a more. I use magic when they get close to me, so those sorts of spells don't exactly appeal to me. Mono man. Mm. Well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Indeed. Oh, and 
bed for tonight. Hey. I ain't done nothing. Standing outside my room. I would count that as doing something. Need something? Mm, well, let's travel. Not exactly. What time is you it? You couldn't possibly 39. be the dragonborn of legend, could you? Um, Missalan, Missolda, Missolda, Alduin. Oh, well, suppose it's the time to go to sleep for the night. <laughs> Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Continue this in the morning. Eight hours. Mm -hmm.